what up, what up? We have ourselves an absolute value inequality. And in order to solve and graph an absolute value inequality, step number one is to make sure the absolute value is all by itself on the left. Happy news, it is. Once it is, you split this up into two separate inequalities. For each inequality, you just write out whatever's inside the absolute value just like it is. Don't make it positive because you see absolute values, you're not gonna wanna do that. One of your inequalities is going to have the exact same symbol and the exact same right side. The other inequality has you flipping the symbol and making the right side its opposite, so 11 becomes negative 11. All right, now what you're gonna to wanna to do after that is figure out, I need a word in between. Well, I remember a phrase called great or less than. This is a greater symbol which means the word in the middle is or, great or less than. So now I have two separate inequalities that I have to solve for with an or in the middle. So let's solve each one individually. Plus three, plus three, cross you out. Negative eight A is greater than 14. Gross, divide by negative eight, divide by negative eight. Gentle reminder, when you divide both sides by a negative, you flip the side. 14 divided by negative 8 is negative 7 over 4. So negative 1.75. We'll deal with that when we have to. And then I have an or statement. Uh, treat this guy the same way. Add 3. Add 3. Fortunately, this one's friendlier. Negative 8a is less than negative 8. When you divide both sides by a negative, you flip the sign. And what I'll do is I'll rewrite the whole thing in the middle. Uh, once we're done, we can rewrite the fact that A is less than negative 7 over 4, or A is greater than 1. Now, whenever you're graphing an OR statement, you put both graphs on the number line. So we'll put 1 here, 2, 3, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. Okay, graphing a is greater than 1 means I put a circle at 1, don't fill it in, and graph to the right, shade to the right, like that. Negative 7 over 4 is negative 1.75, so that's going to live right around here. So put a circle there, and since it's A is going to be less than that, we shade everything to the left. So what this means is I can plug in 2, I can plug in negative 7, I can plug in any number that this red shading represents, and that would make this statement completely true. Okay, so absolute value inequalities, great or in this case, uh, less than, super exciting.